All right, guys, welcome back. Going into the final portion here of Roleplay Swan Song. I think me and Piani are having a combo. Is that where you want to start? Yeah, I mean, Piani, Piani, you've got you've got a like dinner plans with James Hahn. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. <laughs> was it that loud? It was, it was obnoxious. It was really loud. <laughs> Stride mangoes, guys. <laughs> Delicious. Anyway, so you've got dinner plans with uh, yeah. James, but you can um, I mean, you can go back to the like Higgs's hotel room first, or you can do that first and then hang out with um, okay Higgs, whatever, whatever you like. Sure, that that works. I'll go see Higgs first. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess. Do you come to like? I guess Hell I, no, I, I, don't I come to your room. Yeah, I guess I tell you to come to my room because I have to like actually show you the computer shit. Or I, I have like every I have a presentation set up. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. Walk, walk us walk us through it, Higgs. Uh, so you like walk and I'm just uh, Piani, please sit down, please, please sit here, and I kind of like push a seat over towards you. Are there like Danish? Is there like Danishes like on a plate for this yes. meeting? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, would you, Would you like a drink, uh, Miss Pick? <laughs> I suppose. Fantastic. I'll make you one here. So what you're looking at here is the future, if you will. It is something that the crew will eventually come to love when it makes them filthy rich. And, and I would like you to take a, a look at it. Here, here's your drink and uh, lights, please. I just kind of like walk over to <laughs> Lights, Mr. Higgins? Of course, like, Mr. Higgins. And go. And then the little trailer starts that I <laughs> described to the guy. It's like 30, okay. 30 35 seconds, 40 seconds long. At the very end, there's a very crudely cut together photo of a guy falling down a stairs and then it's like breaking <laughs> his neck. <laughs> and that's how it ends. And it says no one or not everyone can survive dot 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 is in like cheap text at the end. <laughs> then I flip on the lights. I'm like, so uh, what do you think? <laughs> I don't get it. What the fuck am I watching? That's that's us, and that that's we're gonna be on the air on the aero waves, is they on the space waves and the TV. Well, what do you mean they're gonna follow us around with cameras? Nope, or? I've already. You're actually being recorded right now. <laughs> what? You didn't see it, did you? <laughs> I've got months worth of footage. It's it's true. He does. <laughs> I, I, I do too. Uh, well, great, great. I we could actually, if you want to send that over I to me. I feel about this, Higgs. What do you mean? It's, uh, I completely, well, I completely forgot that you'd been surveilling the whole crew the whole time on the ship. So a adding Piani's footage to your own is going to just like make it dramatically better, yeah. increase your library. Yeah. It's like I blurred out the nudie shots of you. What is the problem? <laughs> How much money? Well, we haven't gotten to that just yet, but I've been told uh, a lot. Do you ever think maybe, you know, a show about the swan song, uh, a group of people that have a fair amount of enemies? Right, but this, you know, see, here, here's the, this is going to be part of the deal. Anything that happens, it has to wait two years to air. So it's two years in the future. We're two years in the future, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't they that kind of stream delay really impact the interaction with the audience? <laughs> they can't keep up with us. What you gotta do is you gotta make it make it interactive so you can have ch a chat watching along. You call it Swish.tv and it'll be great. It's gonna blow up. It's called Switch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Switch. Anyway, everybody get out of their scene. Yeah. So, you want me to make you some fucking documents? Forged signatures, well, hold, I imagine. Do, do we need to? Do you think the crew would sign off on this? Because if so, we don't need to forge anything. Well, I think that's your job, Higgins. Well, I mean, you read through the here. This is for you, and if you don't want to sign it, well, then I'll forge a signature. But and you can forge everyone well, else. It seems to me my decision actually is is weightless right now. Well, how so? Well, because if the other two will do it. Then I'll do it. But if the other two won't do it, then you need me to do it. And that means you'll pay me. Well, yeah, you'll get paid through the show, of course. Yes, yeah. No. Yes, yes. I'll get paid extra. 
maybe. <laughs> you know the terms, Higgs. <laughs> I'm just looking at you and I kind of like slowly lean down and press the play button over again. Just, like, huh? just, just look. I mean, look at this. This is gold, man. I had I had the guy eating out of my hand. That he, we even did we did some blue fever. <laughs> oh my God, Higgs. <laughs> okay, go talk to Mister S. Well, don't, I'm not going to tell him that. Don't tell him that. Yeah, you don't tell him that. Find out if okay. they do the show. All right, I'll talk to him. Keep this between me and you for now. I will. Okay, and I'll okay. Uh, actually, can you get the fuck out and I'll just invite him over and we'll do the whole trailer thing over again? Wait, am I in Higgs' room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank thank you, uh, and we'll have a, have a good day. And, uh... Oh, never mind. Never, you have a good day. <laughs> but I'm just kind of, like, looking out the window. All right. <laughs> All right. I leave. Okay. All right, so let's do. Um, you wanna you wanna talk to uh, Mr. Scarian now, Higgs? Is that the plan, or somebody's gonna talk to him? Uh, yeah, I, I unless Wheat said he was going on, on whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. You can either have Mr. S come over, or you can send Wheat on your thing. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see the conversation between you and Mr. Scarian. Okay, so I send you a, a message, and I'm just like, hey, can you can you come to my room, please? I'd like to show you something. Uh, there's a couple minutes that pass, and then he sends you back. He says, I, it's a little bit late. I thought we were off duty, so I've had some mead. Is it okay that I am a No, bit please drunk? bring some over. I'd love some. Very good. He actually sends the text very good, period, and then he does come. Yeah. Uh, He's not wearing his arm or anything like that, and, uh, he has, like, a wolf pelt, um, like, vest on. <laughs> And he has the meat. Okay. Is it in, is and he, it in, he like, is it in a hor is it in a horn? It's in a tankard. Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I open the door and I kind of, like, uh, Mister S. What? I had a really good time with those people. They okay. Are All fucking right. awesome. Great, yes. great. Uh, come, come on in. Let me, uh, let me. Show. I got a little presentation for. You. I think you're gonna <laughs> like it. It was okay. Kind of like looks around like. Presentation, you say? Right? I yeah, like would, your. Uh, would, yeah. would you like a glass for that mead? Or is that a horn? Where did you fucking get a? It horn is a tankard, from? as they call it. Uh, oh, the wood tankard. really brings out a lot of the flavor. I actually prefer it from this vessel. It's pretty good. Okay, I guess I'll. That's. that's I mean the the mead is absolute horse piss, but. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm working with. That's that's really. Yeah. Good. We could do a lot with that. Uh, here, please have a seat. I, I got something I want to show you. They say it could actually get a horse drunk. Yeah, that's cool. Here, look at that. <laughs> Mr. S, look at the TV, and I hit play. <laughs> he sits, and you can kind of just see him nodding. Like, oh, okay, yeah, the video presentation. <laughs> yeah. And it starts out, it says, like, the whole swish thing, and you see yourself looking. I don't know. You're doing. Let me try to think of which scene would be you. Is it when he's pretending to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in order for you to, like, how is how is this going to go? Like, tell me the scenes that Mr. Sakarian is in. Like, uh, I would... I mean, in the trailer, what would be... Because when did I start recording? You haven't you really been it, in a fight. You, you bought it on Sigrid, yeah. Maybe I... Oh, okay, perfect. The The video footage of you is in training with the uh, the Viking people. Yeah, the Vikings. Like, a mon, like a montage. Yeah. And, it, and also, it's like during all the epic brawling, it's like great action shots of you just like doing something epic. I don't know. What, whatever your character did in, the, in all the brawl fights or the bar fights. A lot of headbutting, a lot of tables being flipped, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you see maybe pictures of, I don't know what Piani's scenes would be. Piani's just like kicked up in her chair, talking. Well, you said close zoom in, so is she like sexualized in the preview. Maybe, maybe yeah, maybe she's like the sexualized <laughs> one of the show. It's like the slow zoom. And she's in like her. not a sexual character at all. Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah. In honor, but... she, there's like some hard edits. She's got like her legs kicked up, and she starts picking her nose, and then there's just like a hard <laughs> cut. <laughs> like I love, I love the idea of Higgs like desperately, drunkenly trying to edit Piani into being <laughs> sexy. Like it's like the the episode of Simpsons where like Homer gets edited into like her sweet, sweet can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, just voiceover, like yeah. yeah, Oh Higgins, hello. 
Yeah. yeah. Listen, Higgs, you're so hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Prosper scenes are him just getting beaten up by that woman on the, <laughs> at the bar. Just over it. Just over. keep showing the same yeah, scene. It's of it just the same out. punch every time. Yeah, when Prosper, Prosper got suplexed then. Yeah. 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 From the Viking lady. Exactly. Perfect. Well, afterwards, he, he kind of shakes his head and turns back and says, so, You did this whole thing? I did. And there's, we've got, we've got. We get a lot of footage. We got every. I'll tell you what. Of, it's you all got there. a lot of skill, and I've seen you take a sandblast once or twice to the side of the body, and it's been impressive the way you get yeah, back up it's out a, of that. It's shame we didn't have that on. I mean, maybe we do have footage of that though. But hey, anyways, what do you think? It's a great film. I just I, why'd you make it? I mean, well, it's I've, interesting. I've been talking to some folks here on uh, Magida, a good businessman uh, by the name of uh vincent and he he thinks that there's some money to be made and that we could uh put this on air like put that trailer on air no it, we if you were on camera right now mr scarring what would you say mm. well, i mean i would be a little bit alarmed that i wasn't informed of it but given that we haven't well, i mean you're not uh, you, wouldn't, secrets. you wouldn't like punch me or anything would you there'd be no physical no of course not <laughs> okay no. yeah you're being filmed right now Mm. <laughs> kind of like looks up a little bit and sips and says, Mr. Higgins, I have a great deal of... Re Would no. you like me to stop so we can have a conversation? If, would that make I'm trying to think of the words. It's a little bit more hazy than it normally is right now. I appreciate your ability to not die. And I think the way I want to say this is, uh, as a man that could fit the role a bit of, as the lawyer or personality for business... Fucking, um, this is a terrible idea. We are outlaws. We do heinous crimes all the time. We are documenting it unwittingly and we could change making the for names. ourselves. No, you don't understand. Oh. It's not just the names. It's you're literally creating a history of the crimes that we've done. We've gotten by on the skin of our teeth, and the money that you would make from this potentially. Well, creating literally a paper, well, not literally, actually, more of a, it's a complicated process. It's electrons. I, get, I digress. But you're creating a paper trail of something that could incriminate all of us and get us killed. That's the kind of thing that, from where I come from, we actually cut out people's tongues through their throats and make them wear it like a tie um, to encourage others but to never do that again. Mr. S., the people that are on TV, they don't go to jail for anything. They could get out of whatever they want. It's like me. But they actually have a reason for it to happen, because they're important. We can I see be those where people. the confusion lies for you, I, but the people on TV aren't actually, you know, shooting people in the back of the head when the trade goes wrong. They're not escaping from drug lords. They're not lying to pirate flotillas. Right. Okay. And see, Piani had the same thing, and I'm glad you guys are always thinking, and I, I enjoy. I it's good, but. Uh, what if it's going to air two years after the fact, so it's going to happen That's two right. years from now. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, in, in, in isolation, that makes sense, but and then maybe we'll just do get... one season and then that's it. Sure. Sure. The product itself is not the problem. If they were to detain you and get physical evidence of all the things we've done, that would be it. We would be liable for everything. You realize that you would be liable for everything, <laughs> he says to Higgs. He like bores into you, and in his head, he's like, "Fucking get it, please." <laughs> I just, I look at you, and I just shake, shake my head. I'm like, no, no, that's not how it would work. It wouldn't. I'd, I'd be above it all. Look, we. Why don't you come meet Vincent? He's a great guy. You'd like him. A when you say above it all, mind. he kind of gives you another look. He's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, Higgs. Like, follow my finger a little bit. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, you track okay. it, like, I'm, perfectly, I'm tracking I guess. it, yeah. Above it all. Um, I've heard some weird shit on this spaceship. I mean, for God's sakes, I befriended a talking octopus not one week ago. It's one of my best friends I've ever had, a fucking talking octopus. But you're saying things like you're above it all and people on TV and stuff. You, you do know how TV works, <laughs> Right. Yeah, I mean, cameras in front of them, and then that gets fed to some satellites, and then... It... And not real people. No, I mean, there's some people that are real. 
Like oh, me. yeah, the show Cops has been running for 2,000 years. It's fantastic. Yeah, but those are people going yeah, to jail. No, okay, hold on. Hey, and now, don't, um, don't talk shit about ancient Asian literature, all right? <laughs> now imagine the cops, but with real people. Wouldn't that be yeah. great? And they used the to watch it back in the day. Down by the cops. Reality cops. <laughs> I can see this conversation uh, 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 not progressing very far. Let me just be pretty clear. It's not a good idea. You're an outlaw, so you might not just take my advice. I have to perfect, protect my own career, and I've got a, I've got a pretty momentous moment coming up here where I'm probably going to decapitate the leader of a major. And a, that would be great. Militia group. And, if we uh, captured that, it would. You'd, it'd be fantastic. I see you're stuck on the idea, so I, I assume the conversation's done. But no, for me, strong no. Okay. All right. Well. Well, maybe we'll just write your character, and you'll be Howard or something. We'll just blur out your face. Make sure, it... yeah, but if you document me killing people, I will eliminate all sources of that information. Okay, we'll see. All right. <laughs> no, I, I will. I, you'll <laughs> see, but I will, is what I'm saying. Was... I just keep making, like, really weird, almost passive-aggressive comments. <laughs> yeah, like, whatever you say. Yep, yeah. You think that. Okay. I'm, like, shooting you out the, uh, out the apartment or the hotel, whatever. Yeah. Okay. And then I text Piani. I'm like, went great, period. <laughs> <laughs> went great. Awesome. <laughs> all right um so do you uh higgs do you want to do run the same con on prosper or are you just going to leave prosper out of it uh <laughs> i just send him this the clip i'm like hey you like this <laughs> it's just him just being punched over and over <laughs> uh is, is it just that uh what I'm trying to think. Well, what else? Your I mean, you can you, you can also get footage of him like losing an argument with an octopus. Um, yeah, <laughs> losing losing a game of like yeah. you know a space just, like, chess. Angrily getting like flipping the hollow board. Yeah. yeah, but like, are are you just like sending me video of myself, or are you sending me the trailer? Uh, no, no, I send you the trailer. But the only thing in it is like. I think you getting punched multiple times by the, it's the same <laughs> thing, and then it's yeah. probably your conversation with the octopus, maybe. Yeah. Um, So I, I, I think I look at it and I, I see like you know the this is, these are the tales of the SS Swan Song swish yeah swish and like Prosper just kind of sends a note back. He says, uh, you know, he types, "What is this, Monsieur Higgins?" Uh, if it's in text, I just put our future period. Uh, yeah, there's there's a knock on your door, Higgs. <laughs> like right as that sends, uh, I turn around and there's a knock. Uh, no, it's like you know, a minute later or whatever. Okay, I go and answer it. It's Prosper. Oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that you could. Okay. Yeah. Hello. C come on in. What is this, Monsieur Higgins? Our future? Yeah, it's what it's what I've been working on. Are you excited? We we can get some better shots. That's all. I, you you got. That was great when he got hit. I just had. That it. was <laughs> truly amazing. That woman was <laughs> robust, really quite impressive. But uh, <laughs> do you have cameras mounted in your armor? Is that something that is that you've done? How did you well, see got, video footage of that? Yeah, I've got like eight cameras all over me, at all times of the day. That is very impressive, Mister Higgins, and we are using this to. Extort the members of your crew? No, no, we're not. We're not extorting people. We're we're gonna sell it to a reality TV company, and then, well, sorry, a TV company, and then we're gonna make a reality show about the uh, the Swan Song, and it's gonna air two days, two years after the fact. So if anyone wants to track us, they're not gonna be able to, because we're gonna be two years ahead of them. Uh, Maybe even I, dead, right? <laughs> I mean, I sort of like, I'm just like looking at him and checking to make sure that he means it. Like, I guess I I detect that he does. Mm -hmm. You give the curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> an interesting tactic, Monsieur Higgins. I will have to speak with my companions. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Mister S is already on board, so you don't need to talk with him. Uh, Good. Piani was waiting to see what you said, and I said you'd probably be okay with it. So if you want to have a conversation with him, then yeah. 
Yeah, well, um, I'll speak with uh, Ms. Peek and we'll see what we can do. Okay, great. And uh, should I run this by Wu, do you think? I mean, he Do you really have footage of him? Yeah, I mean, I got footage of everyone. Well, he would probably appreciate it. Yeah, okay, I'll see. Okay, I'll ask him, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I leave, I go to Mr. Sicarian and I knock <laughs> on his door. Um, at this point, I'm quite drunk, but I, I go, just a minute. And then I come over, and I'm now wearing just... I was going to say, the, just, just, just the vest. <laughs> but I answer the door, and I still have the tankard. Good evening, Mr. Brosby. I can help you. Good evening. Do you have another one of those? The vest? No, it's a mug. Is this Stein? Like like... Oh, the tankard, yes. Of course. Come in, please. Come in. Yeah, I come in. I come in. And I mean, you know, uh, I go over to like you know a larger tankard actually, and just pour it into a small tankard and <laughs> give it to him. It's just like so, a series of fucking tankards. So yeah. Sicarian, Sicarian's room uh, is the on the side of the hotel that leads out onto the street, and right across the street there's a giant uh, ne blue neon sign that says Fever Club on it, and just keeps blinking all yeah. day and yeah. all night forever, yeah. just like right through the window. This is like a, a lot of atmosphere, Monsieur Sicarian. Um, no, I fucking hate this place. It's come to my attention that we have to kill Monsieur Higgins. <laughs> <laughs> You're not laughing. You think I'm joking? Well, what's what do you mean? Why? What? He has kill extensive it. video yeah. footage of all of us in incriminating situations that he intends to sell for profit yes. to a reality TV show company. I see that he approached you about that as well. I <laughs> talked to him. I tried to tell him that that was a horrible idea, that of course, if this information were to continue to be obtained against my will and used to perhaps incriminate me for the... God, we don't have pie here to count it, but I think she told they told me it was... Dozens. It's been a while. A lot of people have been killed, and I don't want to... We worked really hard to make sure that that doesn't catch up to us. So yeah, I told him not to do it. It's a bad idea. Mr. Zakarian, let me be very clear with you. The only way that we can work hard to make sure this does not bite us in the ass is by killing Mr. Higgins. We kind of look to you, and again, the curb your enthusiasm a little bit like the... <laughs> <laughs> the drunk look. He goes... He kind of puts the tankard down, notices he's not wearing pants, and says, please, one minute. Walks over to his bed, means. puts his pants on, turns back to you, yeah. and goes, you have to know that killing him is not the only option. And that is Ooh. a very a grave thing to say about a man. A lobotomy could work, yes. It's true. Uh, follow me for a moment, Monsieur Sicarian. You have secrets about yourself that you don't want your enemies knowing, that you don't want Monsieur Titan knowing. I suppose that if Monsieur Higgins has been video filming all of us for the last six, eight months, even the last two months, Monsieur Higgins has video footage of you doing something strange? Something involving black tendrils? Yes? How would you feel if Monsieur Titan found that information prior to your engagement with him? Well, How course. would you feel? Do you feel that the security of the software on the Swan Song is strong enough that our equipment can't be hacked? Monsieur Sicari, I don't often look very serious, but I am actually a literal space secret agent working for a governmental order that worships artificial intelligence machines. If any information about my identity got out beyond this ship, I would absolutely kill to protect it. I understand, and it is a man's right to protect that is which that which is excuse me that which is most important to them. But I Mr. Higgins is the whole reason we're here and he has protected my secrets with his life before, and I've done many a travel with him. So, again, I need you to ask. I need me to ask you. I'm going, I'm asking you. Do not say again that you must kill him, because I will take that as a serious claim, and that I must defend this man. 
But what I will tell you is I don't disagree with anything you're saying, what we're saying, what you just said to me. And we will make it very clear to him that this cannot continue. And I think the case that you just brought forward to me is extremely stellar. Fabulous, even. It's good. You made it. It's good. So we're going to talk to him. He's not going to do this thing. And you're not going to feel like you have to kill him. But please, the only way I would ever kill Mr. Higgins, and there's like three, if he touched my fucking thunder gun, if he touched basically my suit of armor, or if I had to kill him. And outside of those three things, I don't think there's any reason to. So let's just tell him that he can't. And then he won't. And then you and I don't have to. I wonder if we looked through the footage of your thunder gun and your suit of armor, if we would see anything like that. Curious no. idea, don't you think? No. Uh, very well, Monsieur Sakarian. I see that you care deeply for Monsieur Higgins, despite the grave, <laughs> grave error in judgment he has made. I will reserve my judgment. Well, to be honest with you, if I killed him every time he made a horrible mistake, he would be dead about a hundred times over by now, and I wouldn't have much in the way of a friend or a captain. But if someone killed me every time I made a mistake, I would be dead exactly 1.5 times, because that's how many mistakes I've ever made. I'm just kidding. I'm drunk. Let's, let's talk to him tomorrow, though. <laughs> what was the half mistake? I, get, I don't know. I got nothing witty to say. Like I said, I'm drunk. I don't know. It sounded like a little number. It's less than two. Two is really small. Very well. I do appreciate you coming to me with this, and uh, the severity of it has not escaped me. I tried to make it really clear to him. I don't know why I picked tonight to drink fucking mead. I just hate this city. I really do. And this is when I'm presented with this thing. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's He's really excited by the idea of making a lot of money. He bought this fucking suit for it. It's really... It's a terrible suit. Mr. Sakarian, <laughs> do you need to change rooms with me? I am more confused by that question <laughs> than anything else you said. What do you mean? Oh, because of the, the fucking blue? The club? No, it's fine. I'm making a mental catalog of everyone that goes in and out of there in case I need to actually kill uh, Understood. All you got to do is just call up the war mind to be like, hey, buddy, you want to do me a favor? <laughs> Uh, good luck Google, mental counting. No. Yes. Let's and let's I, talk to him tomorrow. I'm going to sober up. We'll talk to him, and hopefully we'll get him off this idea. But put to put to rest the idea of killing him, please. I know that your secrets are important, but nothing has gotten out yet, and we will make sure that that's the case. I will leave it as a distant third option. And I I, I turn and leave. Okay. All right. So let's let's cut to Piani. Um, you're in a, uh, like a tea house. Um, there's several tables around. You're sitting at the table. There's a, um, like a blue and white teapot. Um, and across from you, uh, is your, your old chum, James. Um, so where do you know, where do you know James from? Oh, shit. We had this, uh, we established this at one point. Yeah, like you were... Well, I think I remember, like, he works in customs, and I think we just established that you were friends. I don't remember the exact details. But. It was, yeah, something, something early on is kind of like family friends. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so when you, like, maybe you're there waiting for him, and he shows up after you, and you haven't seen him in a while. Uh, he's about your age. Um, a decently good-looking guy. He got like a government bureaucracy job, as many do, especially men uh, on this planet, with the intent to move up the bureaucracy to like become a Mandarin or whatever. But um, you know, he was always kind of a humble guy. Came from fairly like uh, sort of like low background. Um, like maybe his dad was like a sub foreman at a mine or something. But when you see him, he's dressed like really nicely. He's dressed like a fucking hotshot gangster. Like he's got like like this just beautiful expensive suit, uh, like gold rings, like super shiny patent leather shoes, you know, like a $300 haircut. Um, and he, he walks in and like takes his sunglasses off and like puts them in his pocket. And he sees you and he like waves and smiles and then walks over like, Piani. 
as you walk over like Peony, like he's looking yeah, come for... Yeah, come give me a hug, yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I, okay. I, I, it's All been right, a so while. He, uh, he nods, he's like, it has, it has. I haven't heard from you in weeks. Yeah, you know, I, space life... Um, Fortunately for us, we just uh, had our ship upgraded or in the process of doing so here. Going to make things a lot faster, I'm I'm glad to say. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate the help with the with the uh, ship for sale. Worked out real good for us. Of course. I'm happy to help. And he like sits down and he like waves a, a waitress over and like orders something and like tips her in cash like just right there. And it's like, thanks, babe. And like she goes... To, to get whatever you ordered and um, and he says um, yeah things have things have taken an upswing for me since the last time we talked I, I'm not gonna be able to help you with that custom stuff anymore I'm afraid well I mean what you you must be doing good for yourself what what business are you in these days yeah he, uh, he nods he's like yeah yeah I've um, I got a new gig working for some uh, some Madari folks who've been moving product on the planet. It's good money. It's real good money. And he kind of like gestures like, I might have gone a little overboard. <laughs> you should see my car. Uh, but, I mean, you, you know how it is. Life is one way, and then something changes, and suddenly you, you know, you're living on a spaceship, traipsing around the sector. Little product? He nods. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm in the import-export business. Mostly imports. Nothing illegal, I hope. He says, oh, you have been gone a long time. You know illegal doesn't mean what it sounds like it means around here. Nothing's uh, illegal <laughs> with the right amount of money, right people, right connections. I'm making connections like crazy, Piani. I could, the people I've met in the last six weeks, it blow your mind. So at this point, like, Piani is, is sort of uncomfortable because... With all this time in the ship, like regardless of what her stance was, like that's what she's been around. Like, yeah, you know. So I immediately, I'm just kind of like, I don't want to know about this because a, Mrs. Karen will kill them, and b, I, I you know, who knows? And I just immediately <laughs> think it's got to be something like blue fever or something. So, I but I do stop him when he says that and say, well, I don't mean to be the one that runs to you for favors all the time, but if you're making all these connections, maybe. Maybe you can do me one more. He, uh, he says, well, you know I'm always happy to help a girl from the hometown, right? Those villagers got to stick together. We do. We do. So, what, do you, what do you need, Piani? Let's just say there's a guy that I work with, and uh, he's, a, he's a good guy. But he did something maybe he shouldn't have done, and he's worried the people he first was working for might actually want to kill him. But he also thinks maybe they just want to pin a mental on his chest, so I don't know. But I need to find out. If I give you his name... So uh, while you're, yeah, while you're talking, he's, while you're talking, he's like taking out his data pad and, and like making some notes. Okay. So what's, I your, tell uh, him, what's your friend's name? Uh, so I, I tell him, Prosper. Yeah. yeah. Just Prosper. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then oh, I, I tell I, I tell about uh, it's Cabal, right? Cabral. Uh, Cabral, Cabral yeah. right? Cabral. Um, yeah. Types that in. And he's like Cabral, yeah, yeah. Midori's been doing some business there. N nothing in my sphere, you know. I'm I'm local guy, but I I've heard some things about the planet. Civil war a little while ago, I think. Change of government, a little bit more liberal there now. Indeed. Yeah, I could, I could maybe look some stuff up, see if I could find some people. If you can, great. If you can't, it's no big deal. But certainly if we have to go there ourselves, knowing this information might keep us alive. Be good. So he, uh, he says, um, no, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but when, um, when you called me, I, uh, I made some calls of my own. Checked out your ship. You know, you're getting these upgrades. Looks like you got cargo space. Maybe you can do me a favor. Sure, or what you need? It's like, uh, I got some stuff I need moved off planet. Maybe you can take it for me. Just drop it off on your way. Depends on what that stuff is, James. He, uh, he just, he's like, 
Best not to ask. But hey, it's a favor. What are friends for, right? Is it uh, is it stuff of the blue variety? He uh, he shakes his head. He's like, oh no, 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 honey, <laughs> that 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 blue flows in, not out. Hmm. Um, I'll tell you what. I want you to meet someone. So he he says once you said he's he's like you can see him thinking and he's like but you know if you want to get into that business I do it's big and there's money I just, in I it. just shut it down immediately. He he puts his hands up. He's like it's not as dangerous as those purity people say it is. It's it's good. It's it's good solid product. We don't cut it. It wouldn't be hurting anybody and you could make yourself a lot of money. No. You and your crew. No. He shakes his head. He's like I thought. This he's isn't heard girl, that this isn't know the girl enough. I knew. He, yeah, he's like he's heard that know enough to know that I'm serious. Yeah, so he he he's not gonna push you anymore, but he's like, I'm disappointed. I thought I thought you knew an opportunity when you see one. I'll tell you what, I want you to meet our captain, Higgs. Uh okay. you talk to him, maybe we can do this favor for you. I get it, I get it. Above Where you need it to go, by the way. Depends on how much you can carry. Let me talk to the captain. Look, let's let's not talk business anymore. Let's let's get caught up. I haven't seen you in forever. And like the waitress comes over and like pours some tea for you, um, and that's probably a good place to to stop. I think. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's do some shout outs. Uh, yeah. The show. Jeff, you want to start us off? Just thanks as always, guys. I have such a <clears throat> freaking blast doing this. Uh, thank you for tuning in. It's been fun and awesome. Um, as always, if you're uh, inclined to check out my stuff, follow me on Twitter, EG in Control. I stream on Twitch and Control TV there. Um, and then just a shout out to uh, the guys I've been playing Warhammer with as well, which they just got their sub button, which is pretty exciting news for them in their little corner of the world. Uh, Frontline Gaming underscore TV. They stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. PDT on Twitch. So just a plug. Just check it out. I know a lot of people that like D&D are such big nerds. They also like that kind of stuff, like us. So take it, a, take a look. Cool stuff. Wheat, do some shout Yo, outs. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you on, I, actually, I think I might, I might play some, uh, I don't know. I might, I, I don't know. You'll see me Friday, Twitch weekly. I'll be streaming <laughs> this weekend. Thanks for Counter Strike. Hi, Mini Wheat. Say bye. Say good night, Mini Wheat. Good night. Good night, right. good night Mini uh, Wheat. You know where to follow me. Whatever. Dot com, dot TV, dot XXX slash Swish. 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 TV. Swish. Dot TV. What? I'll, I'll be in your room as soon as I'm done, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were right. talking to the camera. I'm just like, what I'll the be fuck is going on? on? <laughs> Everybody just got a little bit excited. Yeah. Just getting <laughs> intimate. Uh, I, I like that's looked around the room. I'm like, we're all like, is he talking to me? Is he talking to me? Is time no, frozen right now? <laughs> How did he know? I had a sexualized peony there for a second. <laughs> All right, thanks, that. thanks so much for watching Swan Song, you guys. Appreciate it. Steven, do some shout outs. Uh, thanks, guys. This is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prospers. Yeah, hmm, yeah. Um, you can follow me on Silent Osiris on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. Um. Following me on Twitter is the best way to know when I'm streaming on Twitch, and I am going to start streaming more game dev stuff using Unity. So if you're interested in seeing someone develop a game on stream, then give me a follow. Uh, the O is zero in all locations, and that's all I have to say. You're not going to be in our room soon? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> going to be in your room soon. Okay, all right. Sorry. Sir. I had to ask. I mean, we set it up. So Adam, I have work in the morning. It's a little bit late. I'm a little. I have a kind of a headache. Like you know. Oh man. Okay. All right. Headache. Gotcha. Adam, do some shout outs. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Swan Song, you the best. Uh, if you want more of me, uh, continue to be in the me JP space. Uh, I think West Marches is the next time you're going to see me. Yep. Um, yeah. And then Mirror Shades immediately thereafter, and then we just keep doing it. Like we do it. Uh, if you want to watch me play video games and yeah. talk about narratives and game design, um, twitch.tv slash Adam Coble. Just like everybody else on Earth, I'm playing The Witcher all week. Um, but I'll be throwing in Heroes of the Storm uh, as well because I cannot get away from that game. And uh, like uh, our good friend Steven, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at Skinny Ghost, that is where I do most of my everything. So follow me there first and foremost. 
Uh, and as far as your room goes, I may not be there tonight, but I'm going to be in your heart. Aww. There you go. There you That's go. Cute. Uh, do any of y'all care about Letterman's last show tonight? Are you anyone going to watch that? Does anyone still watch Letterman? I don't even cable. Yeah, I didn't think anyone cares. Is that on Netflix or is it not on Netflix? <laughs> what I am at. It'll probably be on yeah, Netflix in know. a couple of years. Uh, I guess what people do care about that are at least watching this stream is... If you want to watch uh, Ezekiel underscore II and Man vs. Game make complete fools out of themselves and drink beers from each other's socks, literally. <laughs> what? Are they doing that right now? Uh, they did it a while ago. They've also drawn all over their faces with Sharpies, and they're playing Dark Souls for the rest of the night for charity. Uh, you can head over to their stream. I'll be hosting it afterwards, but if you want to head over there early, feel free. It's going to oh. be a riot. Uh, no, they've already Was raised like... Sock? No, no. It was the sock that he's been wearing for the... He's actually been streaming for 24 hours. Oh my god! And he went. Yeah, they have a bunch. They're doing a. It's basically a random encounter table, so it's on a yeah. D twenty, and they have like some stupid stuff. That I watched it. He was doing really sad yesterday, which is amazingly awesome. Yeah, <laughs> in so many ways. Yeah. So they're doing a bunch of that on uh, on Zeke's channel, and it's ridiculous. So I'll be hosting that. Uh, but I think the next show is Saturday continuation for West Marches. Adam's gonna be there. Steven yeah. will be there. Pocket will be there. Right. Yep, Pockets on yep. the show, stripping, and, and Zeke. Uh, Zeke. Yeah, we'll actually talk to Zeke about what it felt like to drink from Mamre's <laughs> game sock after he's been wearing it for 28 hours or some shit. And so. Adam's Q&A is probably up on your subreddit. Yes, yeah, it'll be up in just a second. There you go. There you go. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching Swan Song. We'll see you next time. We're out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.